Eric Adams. We got to bring Eric Adams to the front of the congregation. We're going to have to bring Eric Adams to the front of the congregation. Jerry, I'm going to read that super chat right after this part, this part of the show. Thank you for holding me down. We're going to have to bring Eric Adams, Mayor Eric Adams. Remember when y'all voted Eric Adams in? Remember when y'all voted Eric Adams in and y'all said, yo, this is the man. He is of the people. He has a bald head like Anton from AntonDaniels.com. And, and he's a representative of a certain demographic. We need people in office that look like us because they're going to be the ones that champion what it is that's best for us. We need something to inspire our children. Y'all didn't get enough of that with Obama? Y'all didn't get enough of that with Obama? You said, I want to put myself back in the same circumstance that I was in, maybe even worse this time, especially if I live in New York. Okay. Well, let me revisit something before we bring down, uh, bring him on down to the front of the congregation. Eric Adams, Eric Adams, because I need to give the entire context. Eric Adams once said this, and he stood on this. He said, we should protect our immigrants, period, Pooh. Period, Pooh. He said, period, just like a modern black woman. He said, we should protect our immigrants, period. He stood on that. He posted that. He said, this is what I stand on. This is where I'm at about it. Ain't no mistake about it. I don't like what's going on down in Texas, Florida. We not going to close the border. We going to protect our immigrants. Yes, New York City will remain, will remain a sanctuary city under the Adams or under an Adams administration. Hashtag Eric on NBC. Period, Pooh. Okay. Well, I feel you, Mr. Adams. Let's get into it. Make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm. We never, the name of the show is say never forget. Never forget, forgive, but never, ever, 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 ever forget, all right? Let me read to you how he stood on this, or not even read to you. Let me show you how he stood on this. Let's fast, fast forward it a little bit. Let's fast forward it just a bit. We're going to skim through this because we don't need to read all of that. It's just not realistic when you're getting 4,200 people in your city that you're going to find a place with kitchen and a bathroom. Our desire is not to put people, children and families in dorm, dormitory settings. Our desire is to manage an, a humanitarian crisis. And when you look at the law, what it was designed to do during that time had nothing to do with getting 4,200 people in a week. We have an 83% increase in our shelter system in a year, 83%. And so we need to all come to, to the table and say, let's re-examine the laws to see how do we adjust to this issue. And so we want to make sure people are safe. Unlike El Paso, our folks, our children and families are not sleeping on the streets. Mm. We are feeding thousands of people, over 60,000 mm. uh, that came through our system, mm. uh, uh, laundry service, the children are being educated, uh, mel medical service, mental health support, uh, legal advice. <laughs> what we're doing is unprecedented to any other municipality. Well this is Eric Adams. This is your mayor. This is several months ago. Several months ago, around the time that he tweeted. Several months ago, he said, listen, we gonna take care of our immigrants. We down, we down for the cause. Ain't nobody ever did it the way that we do it. Let me show you how it is that we, we doing it, right? Fast forward, fast forward. No worries, we gonna fast forward, we gonna get to it. This is Eric Adams the other day, literally less than 48 hours ago. This is your mayor, Eric Adams. Shout out to all of my people in New York. This is your mayor, Eric Adams the other day. Now remember, let me replay it for you one more time. Eric Adams says we should protect our immigrants, period, Pooh. Yes, New York City will remain a sanctuary city under an Adams administration. Okay, well, let's find out exactly what that means. We turned this city around in 20 months. And then what happened? Now, remember, this was just the other day, over the weekend. J 
just the other day. Started with a madman down in Texas, decided he wanted to bust people up to New York City. 110,000 migrants. We have to feed, clothe, house, educate the children, wash their laundry sheets, give them everything they need, health care. Ain't it funny? He was able to state every single point that he stated right now. Remember the video that I showed y'all from months ago? Shout out to Faith Pope. I'm going to be reading your super chat shortly. I appreciate you. Remember the video? I just played the video where he quoted word for word, back to back to back, this and this exact holding. Clothe, house, feed, do they laundry, educate their children, make sure that they get all of the medical services. He said it in the exam. He's been saying this for so long. He's been saying this for so long. He can quote it to you like it's a Bible scripture. He can quote it to you like it's a Bible scripture. Now, remember, they said, leave the borders open. We not tripping. Don't build the wall. Forget Trump. All of this other type of stuff, right? Remember that, right? And so... The people down in Texas and Florida, they said, okay, well, we want you, because they're not coming in through Canada. They're not coming up, coming in through Canada. they coming in through Mexico. And so they said, you know what? You know what? I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and share our immigrants, our migrants with you, Eric Adams, since you already declared yourself to be a sanctuary city and you see some benefit in this and being a hero, you don't want to spend your majority of your time actually paying down the deficit, helping the people in New York City, making sure that you back up the city leaders, make sure that you take care of the police officers, so on and so forth. You said that under an Adams administration, you will remain a sanctuary city, period, Pooh. Okay, well then come on. Let's let's say, let's see how it is that you feel about it. And this team here, we stated let's do everything possible before we have to push it out into neighborhoods and communities. Month after month, I stood up and I said, this is going to come to a neighborhood near you. Mm. Well, we're here. You know what he said exactly? He said, listen, I want the people to possibly take in some of these migrants and immigrants that are coming in that we can't even, we can't even identify some of these people who was out here getting arrested for causing crime. Some of these people who are literally running away from the law because they're breaking laws and all of this stuff and, and tearing up the city. He said specifically, I remember I did a live stream on it, that they were advocating for people to even possibly let these migrants inside of their home. That's what he said. He didn't just say it's coming to a neighborhood near you. He said, I want you guys to embrace this the same way that we're embracing it with the city. We're here. We're getting no support <laughs> on this national crisis <laughs> and we're receiving no support and let me tell you something new yorkers did he just throw biden under the bus did he just throw biden under the bus never in my life have i had a problem that i did not see an ending to i don't see an ending to this oh no 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 under the adams administration New York will remain a sanctuary city. Period, Pooh. That's what I see. I don't see an ending to this. I'm going to be reading that super chat This shortly. issue will destroy New York City. Destroy New York City. Mm. We're getting 10,000 migrants a month. Wait a minute. So it was cool when it was happening in Texas. It was cool when it was happening in California and Arizona. It was cool when it was happening over in uh, Louisiana. It was cool when it was happening in Florida, but it's not cool when it started happening to Texas. No, 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 no. It was okay not to build the wall. Everybody has something to say about what was going on in all of these other states. It was cool. Remember when you had your millionaires and your billionaires on Billionaire Row and you, you could walk through through uh, the subway or you could walk through Central Park and all of this other type of stuff and you was having a real good time and you had the Avenue of Fashion and Michael Jackson didn't have a fro but he had a jerry curl. Not a new Michael Jackson look a little different because they a migrant. The new Michael Jackson on the subway look a little different. It was cool to open up our borders. Y'all remember that? One time we were just in Venezuela. 
Mm. Now we're getting Ecuador. Mm. Now we're getting Russian speaking coming to, through Mexico. Oh. Now we're getting uh, Western Africa. Oh, now yeah. we're getting people from all over the globe have made their minds up that they're going to come through the southern part of the border. No, let your Africans in. Give us us free. Give us us free. Give us us free. Give us us free. Some of y'all might not be familiar with that movie. Don't worry about it. You'll catch it later. Order ...and come into New York City. And everyone is saying it's New York City's problem. Every community in this city is going to be impacted. We got a $12 billion deficit that we're going to have to cut. Every service in this city is going to be... Oh... Oh, so now the the people are going to have to share in the pain. Services are going to be cut. Jobs are going to have to be laid off. You're going to have to do more with less. See, this is why you should not elect politicians based off of talking points, but you should elect them based off of their public service and their understanding of looking at things from a business perspective. You know why? Because government services have to be ran similarly to a business in order for it to be effective, in order for there not to be waste, in order for us not to redirect our funds to places that it's not supposed to go to, like being an immigration or, or a sanctuary city in order to house immigrants to do things that you wouldn't even do for the people. Ah, you caught that intentional American Amistad. Give us us free. Now we wanna make sure that everybody get a haircut. All services is gonna be cut. I want that to start with you, Mr. Mayor. I want you to take a payroll cut. Whatever it is that you cutting from everybody else, make sure you give yourself a haircut to go along with it. Don't, don't absolve yourself. Be a servant leader, meaning I want you on the front lines with all of your workers. Be impacted. All of us. And so I say to you, as I turn it over to you, this is some, some of the most educated, some of the most knowledgeable, Mm. Probably more of my commissioners and deputy commissioners and chiefs live in this community. So as you ask me a question about migrants, mm -hmm. tell me what role you played. Oh, we passed some blame. How many of you organized to stop what they're doing to us? Mm -hmm. How many of you were part of the movement to say, we're seeing what this mayor is trying to do and they're destroying New York City? I thought that all of the people were saying, no, we don't want this. Wait, 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 wait. Are we passing blame? See, that's the thing that leaders don't do. Leaders don't pass blame. They don't say, well, how many of you, uh, you and you over there and you over there, how many of y'all, how many of y'all are the ones that's then determining, shout out to uh, um, a man, I appreciate you, I'm going to be reading that super chat. It's your fault. No, 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 it's your fault. And they said, listen, Mr. Mayor, we told you that we shouldn't have been a sanctuary city and we should align with the people down there in Texas and Florida and Arizona and California and Louisiana and New Mexico in order to make sure that this wasn't happening in the first place. Now you starting to push blame and you starting to point the finger? Don't you do it, Mr. Eric. It's going to come to your neighborhoods. Not scare All of tactics. us are going to be impacted by this. They know us. I said it last year when we had 15,000. And I'm telling you now, with 110,000, I just want to know what y'all think. The name of the show is called Never Forget. I'm just curious as to what y'all think. Do you think that this makes sense and is this aligning with what it is that you expected from your leadership that you elected? You elected. I'm just curious. I'm trying to get the sentiment in the chat. Hey, chat, don't matter where you're from, you ain't gotta just be from New York City. Give me a one in the chat if you absolutely think that this is the dumbest thing that you've ever seen in your entire life. Everybody that's in the chat, give me a one in the chat. I know the people that's got it on their TV that can't necessarily type one. Go ahead, get your mobile device out and put a one in the chat. If you think that we need new leadership based off of a different set of criteria and that we actually need people to vote based off of being informed instead of being finessed. Shout out to you. I see the ones. 
Shout out to the people in the chat. We need new leadership. Good God almighty. What the heck is going on out in these streets? 